In this problem, we're being asked to solve for a variable in a product of polynomials. And you can see here we've got um, this binomial 6v minus 30. Then we've got this quadratic here, v squared minus 6v plus 5. It's all set equal to 0. And what that means is we're going to break this down into um, the smallest factors that we can find and then set each of those factors equal to 0 and then solve for the variable. And we might find one or two or three possible solutions. So this one is already factored as much as I need it to be. So 6v minus 30, I can just set that equal to 0. And remember, the idea here is that if you're multiplying two things and they come out to 0, one or both of these have to be 0. So we can just set each piece equal to 0 and solve for it. And, and that's going to get us what we call the roots. Uh, let, let's take a look at this chunk. I'll, I'll solve this part in a minute, but let's take a look at this chunk. We have a quadratic here, so I think we can factor this. When we factor a quadratic like this, and we've got just um, v squared here, so no leading coefficient to worry about, we're going to have v plus or minus something times v plus or minus something. And the plus or minus something is going to multiply out to be a positive 5, this last part, and it's going to add up to a negative 6. Well, to add up to a negative 6 and multiply out to a positive 5, it's got to be two negative numbers. And they have to be factors of 5. So it can only be negative 1 and negative 5. And let's just double check. Negative 5 times negative 1, that is positive 5. So that works there. Negative 1 plus negative 5 is negative 6. So that works there. And if you were to FOIL this out now, you would get this uh, quadratic piece right here. Now what we do with these two factors is we set both of those equal to 0. So we get v minus 1 equals 0, and we get v minus 5 equals 0. And then these three pieces, we want to solve for v. Let's do this one at the top here. I would add 30 to both sides. I would get then 6v equals 30. And then I would divide both sides by 6. And I would get v equals 5. So that's one of our roots. Let's do this next one here, v minus 1. I need to add 1 to both sides. And that becomes v equals 1. So that's another solution. And on this one, v minus 5 equals 0. I'd need to add 5 to both sides. And I would get v equals 5. And that is a solution we already have up here. So we really only have two solutions here. We're not going to put down 5 twice. So if we were going to um, uh, list those separated by a comma, I'd just say 1 and 5 like that. So that is how to find the roots of a product of polynomials.